I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some boxing gloves that I have been waiting a very long time to get. I'll tell you why uh, in a second, but I'm gonna do an unboxing, show you the gloves, kind of do a walk around the glove and kind of give you my initial thoughts and impressions. Later on, I'll, I'll get another video up of, you know, me actually working with the gloves on the heavy bag. And then after using it for a while, kind of update my review and kind of give you, you know, my thoughts after having used the glove. So these gloves are made by Venom. And that is the reason why it has taken me so long to pull the trigger on buying these gloves. Nothing against the, against the company, but it is not a traditional boxing company. It's used more by Muay Thai, kickboxing, or mixed martial arts training. So, which is, I don't do any of those things. So that's kind of the background, why I never really considered their gear before. Another is their gear, the design, like with their name Venom, and the Snake Viper on it and everything, it's just, it's all over the place. And so just like kind of their overall style is just wasn't really me. But then a while ago, they picked up and endorsed my favorite boxer, uh, Vasil Lomachenko. And which was a huge shock uh, to me and I think probably most people in the boxing world for the reasons I said about Venom. He prior to being endorsed by Venom wore rival boxing gloves. So, and I say that distinction there, he wasn't sponsored or endorsed by rival. Rival doesn't do that, but he, for the majority of his professional career, wore rival boxing gloves, specifically the RFX Guerreros, which are some of my favorite gloves that I have. Rival is a traditional, I mean, they're newer when, you know, compared to older companies like uh, Winning and Cleto Reyes, um, but they're, they're made for boxers. Um, the owner, is a man, Russ Anber, been in the boxing business for decades, it's his life. He's still the cut man and in the corner for all Vasil Lomachenko's boxing uh, matches. So anyway, so it was a big switch when Loma went to Venom. And when he did, I knew eventually he would come out with his own signature glove. And I knew that I would fight internally for a long time about whether or not to buy them, but that eventually one day I would give in and I would buy them. So these gloves normally retail for 300 US dollars. In the, in the range of boxing, uh, boxing gloves and price range, $300 puts you up towards the very top of, with like your elite brands. You are saying, no, I am an elite boxing glove that only the best of the best really, really want. And just never having had their gloves, being able to use their gloves, I just couldn't put, I couldn't fork that out, couldn't justify it. Now I'm gonna take you through uh, the unboxing and just kind of give you uh, my initial impressions of what they look like. Here's the box it comes in. Of all the gloves I own, this is probably the second nicest just package that boxing gloves have arrived in. Uh, so that's nice. Venom, Venom Pro Boxing. That is something unique. So if you go to Venom's website and you look under boxing, there will be boxing gloves, but then there will also be pro. So these are the Lomachenko ones, uh, understandably part of their pro boxing line. And these are the 14 ounce hammer pro boxing gloves. Uh, and I got lace up and then the hammer. So of the three lines, the hammer is supposed to be like their kind of puncher's glove. And the hammer version is the version that Lomachenko uses in his actual fights. I tend to like puncher style gloves more than more protective or pillowy gloves. Um, laces, I do lace up every time if possible. All right, so nothing, yeah, they got, again, they have venom everywhere. Venom, 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 <laughs> venom. All right, walk around the box. Open up the box and you get smell, like actually like really, really nice leather, which is great. Great sign. Pack this is a package really nice. And you can kind of already start to see these like bright colors. Yeah, popping out. The Loma. Man, they smell good. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but like, you know, you get like really nice quality like Mexican boxing gloves and it's, it's like that smell. So let's look, I'm gonna take one of these at a time and we'll kind of go through look, impressions. The, this is the left hand. It has Loma on the back side and on the thumb, but the right glove 
has venom on the back side and the thumb. I wish they would just that it would be consistent and you know these are these are his signature glove. It is a miracle that they were that they signed him and got him. And you throw your name Venom all over anything, everything anyway, and you got it down here. You know, a, a nice uh, rubber leather sewn in patch down here. Like this should say Loma, this should say Loma, but that's, that's just my preference. Yeah, the leather smells and feels like really good quality. So let's do the back side first. So stitching along the back side. Looks really good. And you can tell I'm already feeling like a difference in the leather. First we'll go through stitching, then I'll talk about the leather. So stitching along the side, this is really, this is good. A couple tiny little loose frayed things there. I don't really care about that. I look more for seams that look like they're gonna pop or inconsistent like spacing and stuff. So across the palm, this all looks really nice like this is clean clean all along the piping here yeah grip bar stitching around that is nice around the thumb the seams here through here as well again a tiny little little bit of frayed there but it's not but yeah I don't really care about that I don't think that's a bad stitch so the stitching looks good leather so this patch here feels leather it does have some like these these corners are kind of uh, sharp. So like if you were going to use these in sparring, um, I would definitely you know like put some tape over that, cover that up. But the leather here, like it it's like a, has a really nice grain. It's kind of a nice thick leather. They use uh, an art. They call it a it's an Argentinian Napa leather. So that's the leather, but these aren't made in Argentina. But for these gloves, they say they've treated it diff the leather differently to make it even harder and more stiff. And I can tell up here, like a spe yeah, up here it's it feels way more stiff. The leather and even like it's probably especially down here on this color, like been dipped in something. But it's yeah, it's the the feel of the leather up here is much different than what's down here. Um, but I mean, that's not good or bad. It just is what it is. On the palm side, the leather transition is kind of like here. So from here down, it, from here down, it feels, feels like, like it's not treated, you know, it's just kind of this nice leather. But up here, it's again, it's this kind of like it's been dipped in something. All yeah, up here as well. Looks, okay. Oh, and then, yeah, they got Loma on the palm side as well. So let's look at the, the right glove again looking at the stitching stitching around the patch looks good this this seam is really nice thumb attachment there's a lot of holes here ventilating on the on the thumb and up here i like i prefer gloves that do that so that's nice i don't have any problems with the stitching and the leather same thing about the leather it, it feels like it's really soft and not treated at all down here and then as it gets up here it feels like it's been dipped in something. I don't know if that's what they're talking about when they say it's been treated to make it harder or st stiffer is the word they use. And then I was just noticing these laces also kind of feel like maybe they've been coated in something a little bit too, to where they're a little almost like waxy. For me, what I would like, what makes a glove, honestly, less than the looks. And I'll say, so I'll say the colors. I don't mind the colors. I kind of like, I don't mind like loud or kind of out there colors for design and for the products uh, labeling. I prefer simpler, cleaner designs. I'm fine with this saying Loma because you know this being his signature glove and just having Venom there. Again, I wish they did the same thing on this or nothing here and only have Venom on the wrist guard, but that's just me. The colors are, I mean, I, I like the colors, but I kind of like loud, unique things that kind of like stand out. For me, what really, really, what I really love or like, well, if I'm going to keep the glove, use the glove more than another is how does my, how does my hand feel inside the glove? How comfortable is it? So let's uh, find out here. Okay. That is actually very comfortable. Yeah, that's great. 
so what am I referring to? So on this side, so my fingers, they're, my fingertips are all right here, and they have, um, they're, it's snug, so the, the space between here and here is quite snug, and I like that because, again, I, I, I like a, a bit of a more compact uh, hand compartment because I don't want my hand doing any of this uh, in there because when that happens and you hit someone or something, whether it's a mitt or a heavy bag, that's when you hurt your hand. I want my hand to kind of be locked in in a natural fist position and to then be have the and have it feel comfortable. And this feels like while it's snug there, it is very comfortable down in the fingertips. And it's I'm not having right and holding my hand like this, you know, in this. I'm having to do nothing to keep it here. It's just held in this position. A little bit of, little bit of uh, flex to, to close my fist. And when I do that, my knuckles are right here. The top of my knuckles, yeah, they're like that up here. This is a nice, as I push this in, this is a nice flat surface to punch on and they land cleanly, the, the padding goes you know clean down my knuckles so that's really nice so that's the first thing i kind of think of yeah. yeah that feels really good is how is it how does it hold my fist this holds my fist my fist very well the second thing and this is i think where i use usually have some complaints are one of two places is how comfortable is this placement of this seam here and where does that fall on my thumb joint and then the third is if this is too short, so your thumb can kind of get jammed up here, um, which doesn't feel great. And also, if you hit the if you hit the bag or mitt or whatever just a little bit, you'll jam your thumb. But no, this thumb is, I would I wouldn't change it at all. Other about the shape of it and the fit is it does feel like it kind of tapers in a little bit here. Again, that kind of creates a bit more of a of a compact feel. My hand is right here so there's about you know that much space now maybe an almost an inch maybe from the side of my hand to the edge of the glove it's about as much space as i like so that it's it's snug in there but it doesn't feel really really tight like a fight glove the the length for them this is a bit of a long wrist but compared to just boxing gloves this is probably average it's not really long like i feel like kletos come up to like here on me. My flies probably come to about here. So, but I wouldn't call this short either. So this is, this is probably like in the middle of your ranges of like regular boxing gloves. That's as much as I can open it up. For me, that's not a big deal. I know some people that is a big deal. They like to open it up like almost all the way to parry shots. This is a stiff glove, at least to start out with. I'm not gonna press very hard on the padding just to give you an idea. Um, but it's, I mean, it's stiff. I'm, I'm not pressing. I mean, I'm applying a decent amount of force here, but I have to, and I'm really pressing in hard there to get some give. Based on the shape and kind of how flat this is and how dense that feels, this should give like a very nice crack on the bag uh, or on the mitt. They said uh, in their description that these gloves specifically were designed with Lomachenko and that you know, he gave specific feedback about the shape of this so that the hand compartment would be, you know, the way it should be so it holds the hand and cradles the hand correctly to protect the hand. So I'm curious if that advice came after Lomachenko wore these in his first fight. But they did say that these ones were designed by him and they do feel, I mean, these. These feel great. I got no complaints about the, the fit and feel of these. All right, so that's my unboxing and kind of first initial impressions about these gloves. So far, I'm very, I mean, I'm, I'm just super excited to try these out based on that feel. So far, we'll see how they perform. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have question, specific questions about these gloves. You know, I'd be happy to answer those or, you know, either in the comments or in 
uh, the future videos. If there's other gloves you want me to review, I, I own a decent amount already. I may have them, or you may give me a reason to get a pair I've been thinking about getting. So if there's other gloves or other things you'd like to see, put them down in the comments as well. I'd love to hear that. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, put on the, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I do uploads. I'm hoping to do you know at least one video a week moving forward, and a lot of what that content looks like is going to be based on your guys' comments. So thanks for checking this out. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.